Dad Country Fest kicks off in just two days. The festival was canceled last year because of the pandemic. COVID-19 also impacted supply chains, limiting the supply of new campers that people might bring to the event. Folks say that won't stop them from having a great time. Newswatch Travel's Megan Mamlock reports. There are thousands of campers here at Hodag Country Fest, but what happens if something goes wrong? Well, Schroeder's is across the street at the Nativity School ready and waiting to help. Anybody who wants to come from Hodag who needs a miscellaneous part here or there for their camper, uh, we have tons of parts and inventory. Our service will be out there, um, so just call us if you need some service and, and we can get out there and help out. TNK Novelty's owner Terry Voss has been to 41 out of the 42 Hodag Country Festivals. And during that time, he has used shoulders to help him with his camper issues. Electrical seems to be the thing that, that, that most people have the most problem with. They, uh, for some reason or another, it just it, it happens. Another issue campers run into is a malfunctioning AC unit or engine trouble. We had a stabilizer that uh, the motor went out and um, we took it to Shoulders and they fixed it for us and it was pretty quick. For many years, Shoulders would bring 100 campers to the Nativity parking lot to sell, but with the pandemic slowing supply chains, they only plan to bring 10. But it's just because of the whole supply chain issues, as well as there's been extreme demand in our industries and the outdoor industries because people will want to camp, they want to fish, they want to boat since COVID. It seems to be that everybody's kind of jumping on. No matter the problems with campers, people are just excited to have Hodag Country Fest back and to get back into their summer tradition. This is all fun. This is, this is your fun right here. When you look at all this and these things and these people, uh, you, you can't find a, a better thing to do than, than this. In Rhinelander, Megan Mamlock, Newswatch 12.